Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, December 29th of 2017. I'm a little bit afraid to make this, <laughs> to make this uh, review. I've had the last couple of videos I've made, I've, I don't know, the, the last one I made, I don't know what happened. Something dropped out, I guess, a camera or something. I don't know what happened. Uh, the first five minutes of the video was okay. I think it was about a 30 minute video and the rest was the screen was black and the audio worked and I uploaded it and uh, watched the uh, a couple of minutes. I hate watching myself actually and listening to myself, but I mean, sometimes you probably need to do it to see what's but anyway, I watched like uh, two minutes of the video. Oh, okay. Everything's okay. And then I found out after, I don't know, eight or ten people had watched it, somebody left a comment that uh, the first five minutes had video and the rest was just audio. So I totally deleted that. The video before that I made, and I made it, it was a long one. And I think it was a review, if I remember correctly. And I put a lot of work into it in a way and uploaded it and I had set the the last time I used the video editing program I had set it to output a very small video size uh, not the regular 1080p and now I, I went to make this video and the settings on my screen and camera and all that were 1080p, but the uh, video came, then I didn't check, and so I'm not going to touch that again. I'm going to set it to the correct setting. I hope it's set to the correct setting, and the video will be outputted at 1080p. I'm not going to mess with that setting again because I have to remember to I return it to normal. Uh, so... This is a, I just received it, oh, five minutes ago. And uh, as you can see on the screen also, they send you, an, it's a nice, uh, it's a small, or it's a regular size mouse pad. It feels good, really feels good. This is a decent mouse pad. They send along like as a gift. Uh, this is the mouse and it feels it feels good. I haven't hooked them up yet, but it feels good. And the keyboard, okay. You know, the keyboard feels all right. It's plastic, of course, and everything. It feels okay for a, you know, $33 keyboard. Uh, I'm not going to use it with my, I'll be hooking it up here in a little bit and uh, let you know and let you see the lights and stuff uh, I, I think the I'm using a G it's, what is it, the G I'm using this is I think an $80 Logitech $80 uh, mouse which is excellent the keyboard right now I have it with ties sort of tied down I think it's over a $100 keyboard that I'm using so and I'm happy with it so, but I will be hooking this up so that you can see it and so I can tell you, you know, what it's, you know, what it's like. Um, this is the box that everything comes in. Uh, so, don't get me wrong. Uh, for the price, excellent keyboard. I mean, appears to be an excellent mouse, great uh, mouse pad, you know. Uh, appears to be a good deal especially if you like uh, the lighting and in fact it has uh, a couple items on this keyboard that I uh, that I like that I uh, do not have of course this keyboard you know that I'm using now is programmable but that uh, so but uh, I will not be used but tomorrow I'm getting a one of those $200 little box uh, 
computers, and I think it's either going to have Windows 10 on it, or I have to put Windows 10 on. That's going to be for Darlene to use. She fried her computer or something. Right now, she's using my Chrome box, and she wants Windows 10. So tomorrow, I'm getting the, the computer, so this will be hooked up. And then, uh, so if that works for her, then I'll get my Chrome box back. And then I, I may, although I have two or three nice keyboards in the closet, uh, I may be using this for the uh, Chrome box. I'm not sure. So I hope this, <laughs> I'm going to stop here and disconnect my keyboard and my mouse. And I'm going to show you this. So do not touch the mouse. And I have my fingers crossed that uh, finally this, uh, having a lot of, uh, we ordered mattresses around here and uh, they did not pass the, uh, they've been recalled, <laughs> all types of stuff. So at the end of the, I'll be glad to see 2018 come. Be glad to see 2018 come just because of everything but so anyway hang on don't touch the mouse and uh, I will be right back and I'm back and things look different right um, well I find out what the problem was uh, with the screen size or whatever the screen capture program that I have been using for, I don't know, a long time, recently did an update. And apparently when it did an update, it uh, did not recognize my widescreen. I have a widescreen, one of those short and wide that you could, which I've been using, which helps me out a lot with what I do. I had in the past with some other programs occasionally, uh, Something wouldn't recognize it, and I just made do. Or, but this screen capture program is the one I want to use. Anyway, I switched to my big monitor, not the wide type monitor. It's a regular monitor, 1980 by 1020. Switched it, and uh, now I'm using the uh, screen capture program, and it appears to recognized 1980 by 1020. So we can get back to the keyboard. Oh, that's interesting. This thing stopped. I had the color set. Hmm. I wonder if there's a... Uh... Anyway, when I hooked up the, the mouse, which I'm using, very colorful, and it's doing its thing. It feels okay. Uh, when I started up, there are no instructions that I saw that came, unless I met, sometimes I open things too fast. I didn't see any instructions. Um, so, actually, and even now, okay, with the light, well, I can't judge by me. I have... I'm 77 years old. I'll be 78 here pretty quick. And my vision has started bothering me. And so when I hooked up the, the mouse and the keyboard, I, uh, I actually had to, and I have uh, quite a bit of light, not as much as you're, when you're looking at the picture. That's a Logitech uh, camera, and I could turn out all the lights, and it would appear, you know, uh, as bright, so you can't go by that, but I wouldn't say it's dark. I actually had to go and get a flashlight to look at this keyboard to find the function key, because here in the uh, uh, text here, for they tell you to hit the, press the function key plus the scroll lock, and then the back, then the backup of the keyboard will change. 
and press the function plus up and function down to go up and down. Did I miss anything? Um, I wonder if I if I just hit the space bar. Okay, that's it. Any key. That's this. Okay, that's okay. So uh, when I plugged this in, when I powered up and everything, the uh, keyboard was dark, and I actually had to go get the flashlight. If I'd touched any key, that would have came on. I set this to uh, yellow. So uh, somebody in the comments mentioned that they had to use. Uh, reading glasses in order to see uh, that for me perfectly clear um, and so the function key is down let's see how much I can come down here with whoops got a camera underneath there there we go let's see so uh, you hit the function key and um, well, you, you can actually see it here. To increase that, what you can't, that's it's a maximum light. But if you watch, I don't know if you can tell or not, you know, it's off now or all the way down. So go take the lights back up, which are yellow. And if you hit the function and the key lock up here at the top, that's when that's uh, purple. I guess that's a blue, right? Maybe that's white. I don't know. That's green. Okay, now it's going through the different colors. I'm holding down. I don't know if I need to hold down the... No, I wouldn't need to. So there it's going through the different colors. So if we want to pick out a color, though, hit the function. And so here we have the what would be like a standard keyboard, I'd say, green. And it's perfectly uh, okay. You have these extra keys up here where you can hit the uh, home key and the uh, email and hit the kill the speaker and that type of uh, increase the speaker or whatever. Uh, so uh, what else is there? Um, cool seven lights. Um uh, Good price. Gaming keyboard. Seven colors. Gaming mouse. You can read all this. Supports Mac, OS, Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista, XP, or other operating systems. I would imagine I could, uh, that this... I've got to do a little project, unfortunately, here. Probably tomorrow. So I'll be using this keyboard with a Chrome box. And I'll be using it with, well, we know how to work. I'm, I'm getting tomorrow the one of those little box Windows computers. So I'm sure this will work the same way with that. Now, uh, I'm sure with the Chrome box or with that probably maybe one of these red keys up here or some of you might not because on the Chromebook or the Chrome box, their keys are a little bit different. But I'm sure the rest of them. And I've used keyboards, all kinds of keyboards with uh, Linux and, you know, they all they work. And I'm sure this would work just fine. Pretty basic. It's not rocket science, you know. If it was rocket science, I wouldn't be able to able to do it. So, uh, good price. It works. Uh, I won't be using it for my main computer. But tomorrow when I get this... Windows 10 box in. This is probably the keyboard and the mouse I'll be using, but I'm going to go back to my uh, more expensive, much more expensive keyboard and uh, mouse. So I give this five stars, and I hope that I have... Oh, there was something else I wanted to mention. Uh, oh, okay, well, let's look at this first here. Gaming keyboard tells what you get, tells the weight. It was a question, that was it. Uh, of course, a bunch of questions. Uh, are the keys clicky? Uh, I, you know. Uh, uh, 
It says, how many USB ports does this require? And uh, whoever answered says it takes two USB ports. Uh, it only takes one USB port for the lighting and the connectivity and everything of the... Uh, I, this other keyboard I have does take two you know, USB ports because there's an extension port on the keyboard and stuff. So this takes one. I'm not sure why that says, uh, but it takes one. Uh, says, is there a way to select the keyboard color not to change every time the keyboard reboots? And this says not every, no, every time the keyboard boots or the keyboard is plugged in, it starts on the green setting. So I think that's it. Anyway, I uh, I give it five stars, and uh, hang on a second. But you can look at this, but my, uh, this shows you different color configurations it goes through. And it shows you eight multifunction keys, and it shows you again the, uh, press the function and the screen lock to turn on or off and change the seven colors. Press the function up and down for more or less lighting. Oh, okay, a new one. Press function W key to exchange the WASD for arrow keys when game playing. So, okay. So you better check the... Uh, I don't usually do that, you know. Check the uh, information here that they give you. I think it's a good deal at the price. Like I said, it it feels okay, but it doesn't feel as good as, you know, my uh, metal. I think that's metal. Uh, a keyboard, and it doesn't feel as good as, uh, you know. I think that keyboard, like I said, I think it's over $100. And my mouse is, uh, I think was, it's a Logitech, I think it was like an $80 mouse or something. And uh, here you have a keyboard and mouse that uh, appear to be pretty good at, uh, you know, less than $34, $35. So I do recommend them to you. And uh, thank you very much for watching.